At 5 o'clock, the Oklahoma Tourism Department ends a controversial contract with Swadley's. The contract has been at the center of a criminal investigation and a state audit for weeks as the company is accused of defrauding millions from taxpayers. So our Barry Mangle just heard from Swadley's about this cancellation and joins us live in the newsroom with what they're saying. Barry? Yeah, Carl, Amanda, in just the last 15 minutes coming into the newsroom, Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen defended its operation and said it now has to eliminate nearly 300 employee positions. The company said in a statement, quote, Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen is alarmed and dismayed that the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department unilaterally terminated our contract and accused us of fraudulent activity without offering any evidence to reinforce that accusation and or, or a chance to defend ourselves, end quote. Today, the tourism department told Swadley's it strongly suspects the company of making fraudulent or incorrect charges to the state. In its termination letter, the tourism director ordered Swadley's to cease all ad campaigns and remove all online mentions of the state park system. It also told Swadley's that park staff will remove or cover all signs of foggy bottom kitchens as soon as possible. The state says it will work with local businesses to, until it finds a permanent operator for those restaurant spaces at state parks. Swadley's contract with the state did start back in 2020 as state officials hope to revitalize tourism at state parks. Since then, the state has paid Swadley's nearly $17 million for construction and improvements, as well as operating costs and management fees. The state tourism director says he strongly suspects they will uncover improper charges to the state, either through fraud, mistake, or misrepresentation by Swadley's. We'll have a more in-depth look at the relationship between Swadley's executives and state officials tonight at 10. Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. We will talk